Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and in this video we are going to resize my, or actually extend my virtual disk, uh, and resize it, I suppose, uh, for my Ubuntu installation on my Proxmox VM. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is just increase or resize the space assigned to your virtual disk. Now for these nodes, I have a few different disks here. I'm going to be doing the SCSI0, which is where my logical uh, volume is here that I'm going to be resizing. I'm actually going to do it on a different node here, though, uh, because I'm going to be resizing all these from 32 gigs to 64. I'm running out of space on all of them. So it's pretty simple to do. You're just going to click the disk, go to disk action, resize, Add, it's just what you're adding, so you don't put your total that you want. I want to add 32, so I'm going to double it, and that's going to be the size increment. Click resize, it's going to run, and you can do this with the VM started. However, I always restart my VM before I actually go in and do the resizing itself, because you can actually like force Linux to detect the new size and that's fine. You can do it that way. I'm not going to show it that way uh, just because I prefer to do it by just um, restarting the VM. So I've done it on this kilo dash node four. We can see it's 64 gigs. I'm going to start that VM and then we're going to go in and actually make the change here. So what I'm doing is I had originally my Ubuntu OS on, on a hard drive, a virtual hard drive with 32 gigs. I'm running out of space, so I'm gonna switch that to 64 gigs because I can support that with my system. You obviously need to make sure that your hard drive that you are using for your virtual drives has enough space in its entirety to allow for that. Mine does, so I'm gonna be bumping this up to 64 gigs. And we will jump now into the terminal here. And that was four, so we're gonna jump into four. And we're gonna drop into sudo. And that's because pretty much every command we have to do, we're gonna need sudo. And if you notice, if you do df-h, like I'm still stuck at 30. I haven't done anything really of use besides allowing myself the ability to extend this virtual disk. So first thing we're going to do is go into CF disk. Now, because you turned off your VM or rebooted your VM, you should see this free space show up immediately. Uh, there is a command. I'll put it in the description, but I'm not going to put it in the video because again, I don't like to do it that way. I just like to have my VM off and turn it back on when the changes are done or at least reboot to see the changes. So we see we have the free space, but we're not going to select that. We're going to select the drive that we want to extend. And let me actually quit out real quick. You can see SD, um, or let's do LSBLK. And we can see that the Ubuntu uh, volume group, Linux vo or logical volume, is on SDA3. And that's the one I want to extend. I want to make that one bigger. So when I go into CF disk, I want to go down to SDA3, and you can see also it's the 30 gig one here for the size. And what I want to do is resize. So at the bottom here, select the resize option, and it's going to use up the whatever space is available to it. So you can see now it's saying new size is 62 gigs. That's what I want. You can change this if you want to uh, change the size. Don't go smaller, or you're probably going to corrupt your file system. You can go larger though. So um, I'm just going to select all available space, and that's what's given by default. And then you're going to want to write. And write actually is what makes the change to the partitions here. Type in yes, click enter, and you can see the partition table has been altered. Now you can press the Q button to get out of there. And again, just checking, we haven't done anything yet. We've provided it more space, and if we uh, go into... Um, any sort of thing, like if we do uh, VG display, which we'll be doing later, we see there's no free space available here. 
and that's because we haven't actually resized anything yet. So we're going to do PV resize and then dev SDA3. And you're going to want to change SDA3 or, you know, at, at any of these steps, you're going to want to make sure you're using what it is that you need. So if your SDB is where you have it installed, you're going to do SDB. If it's not your third person partition, it's your second, you're going to put in your second partition. So you are going to have to change this dev slash SDA three to whatever it is for your system. So don't blindly copy and paste these things. You're probably going to mess up your file system. So we can see one physical volume resized or updated. So we are good to go. And now if we were to do VG display, we can see free 32 gigs. So let's start using that. And this is the command again. Um, I'm going to say again a lot because there's, there's a lot of important points when you're modifying disk space, you want to make sure you're doing the right thing or you could cause issues. So if I do DF dash H um, or actually it will be um, is it LV display? Yes, LV display. So my LV path, when I look at my logical volume, is dev Ubuntu dash VG Ubuntu dash LV. And in my next command, which is this one, you can see I'm doing LV extend dash L plus 100%. So I want to use 100% of the free space available. And it's for the dev Ubuntu dash VG Ubuntu dash LV. And that's that path that we see uh, right up here. And I did that by doing LV display. And then we'll just hit enter. And we can see it's been changed from 30 to 62 Gibby bytes. And we can make a confirmation of that by doing LV display. And we can see now the, the logical volume is 62 Gibby bytes. And we're not done yet, though, because again, if we check df h, that's kind of our continual check to see if we've done anything. We can see this dev mapper Ubuntu dash dash VG. That is only 30 gigs still. So we're missing out on some of that space. And that's because we need to resize the uh, partition for the root file system. And we can do that by doing the resize 2FS dev mapper Ubuntu dash dash VG dash Ubuntu dash dash LV. And you can see that's changed from the last command. Now we're using what we see in DF dash H to actually resize our file system. So we'll click that. <clears throat> and then we can see that uh, it's now made the changes. And we can do finally DF dash H and see 61 jigs here. <laughs> I don't know why I like to call it gigabytes, but uh, 61 gigs and we're good to go. So at this point we are done. We have the extra space available and we can drop out of sudo with just exit and we're good to go. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, I know anything with the disk is stressful. Hopefully this was clear and straightforward. If you have any questions, feel free to post some comments and I'll see you in the next video.